we got a, a whispered uh, radio thing from the guy saying, uh, no, from Bob, said, uh, are any of our guys dressed like hippies? He said, no, they're not. And he said, well, there's like, hippie looking guys, and they're on the, uh, the seventh floor, and he said, they're going down, they've got guns. We tried to alert these uh, people that we had, the Cubans who were in there. And we kept uh, saying, you know, you don't want to unit two, you don't want to unit two. And they had turned the game down when they came here. And then, uh, a substantial period of time after that, we got a whisper from them, they got us. And that was when we knew. And then, of course, the lights were all on. Baldwin was reporting, you know, police cars and everything like that. And uh, we knew that they had been apprehended, so Hunt and I took as much of the gear as we could. And we took all the stuff that we could and we walked down, walked out, walked past the police, got in our cars and went. I went home. And, uh, my wife woke up when I went into the bedroom. And I said, uh, something like things didn't go well today. I think I'm going to have to go to jail. It was Saturday. Uh, I knew that I had compromising material in my office over at the Whittier uh, uh, Relax. And I went over and shredded everything, including, I think, 13 consecutively serialized $100 bills, which I put between two pieces of paper so that the people working in the office. I wouldn't see that I was shredding $100 bills and thinking I lost my mind.